everyone, it's Farm Sim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. We are here on Richland, Ohio today because Collins Custom Modding have very quietly released an update to the Anhydrous Ammonia pack, and there's some lovely little touches in it. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a review of it, show you what's what, and you can go and download it if you want to. Of course, I have to say this at the start, this is unfortunately a PC only mod due to scripts and so on and so forth. So uh, apologies to console players. But uh, there's no way we can get this onto consoles at the moment. The other thing I would recommend you do is download the fantastic mods from Fusion Simulations, that is the Corn Harvest add-on, and the Anhydrous packs. Because on a map like this, like Richlands, that isn't Anhydrous ready from the off, it will make it Anhydrous ready, which is a fantastic mod. So, let's have a little bit of a look around what we've got here. We have got two options. We've got the 37-foot option, TB37 and we have the TB60. Now there are a few changes to these and as you'll see they're slightly different. This one here has got the discs on it from a cultivator. So this cultivates your ground whereas this you now have a side dresser option as well. So if you don't want to cultivate your ground and you want to directly inject that uh, anhydrous ammonia into the ground you can do that. Of course there is a cultivator option as well for both of them. Um, in terms of the tanks, they've been completely remodeled, redesigned. We've got different textures on them as well now, and we've got three different options. So this one here, the FW1000, is kind of it's more for towing behind a truck, I guess. Uh, although you can obviously use it with a tractor. Uh, the WG2000 is a 2000 gallon version, which works perfectly with the smaller toolbar as well. And then, over here, the GN4000. You'll see we've got these lovely tracks on now, courtesy of the guys at Forward Agricultural Solutions, who uh, I think, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I am a huge fan of, and they've done some wonderful modelling and uh, some wonderful mods. Uh, they have also helped Collins Custom out with the new Tattle system, this device on the side. And you'll see, actually, it brings this cable round to the front, and shows you these dials on the front so you can actually check the pressure within your tanks it is cosmetic but it's nice to see that detail and that level of immersion added to these as well those tracks though look at those fantastic uh, there's a, quite a lot of wheel options with these as well so um we'll jump in now to the shop and we'll have a quick look and give all of these a quick overview before we dive into a field and uh, have a little play with them Okay, once you're in the store, these are pretty easy to find. As you can see, they have their own section within the store. So let's go into here. We have got, if we scroll along a little bit, we have got the 37 and we have got the 60 foot cultivators, 18.2 meters and 11.2 meters respectively. So let's jump in. Let's have a look at the 37 foot, 11.2 meter version. Uh, we'll start at the top light assembly. Now this adds, um, lights onto the ends here you've got orange lights there and round the back here you've got some red lights as well we'll turn those on when we're in game in the dark and see if they actually do anything um fertilizing cultivator that is the option we've got on there and you can see we've got cultivator discs there either side of the tine that's injecting the anhydrous you can see the white pipes or the white uh, tubes there going uh, across the tool and into the ground that is where the anhydrous will be injected into the ground now if we turn those off you can see the cultivated discs have gone and all you've got is the tine and the injector going into the ground and uh, we'll go and have a look at that in game in the field and we'll show you the difference that it does to the ground texture when you run it with the different tools um, colors you've got all your nice color options benke as your ba base blue there and then you've got obviously john deere class Vent, Case, Massey, Versatile, Challenger, JCB, and Black, and it does look very good in black as well. And then you've got options for rim colors as well. Lots of nice options for rim, rim colors as well. So you are you're quite spoilt for choice here. Look at that. Looks very, very good indeed. A quick check of the 60 foot as well, and it is exactly the same, to be honest. Uh, same options, light assembly, fertilizing cultivator, or side dresser options and you've got all the same colors uh, for your main toolbar and for your rims as well so as you can see there, looking really really good so 
that is your toolbars. Let's quickly have a look at the tanks as well. So the first one is the FW1000, that's 1000 gallons or 3785 litres of anhydrous ammonia. Um, it has the tattle device on, yes or no, and you can see when I switch that on you get that cable running to the front. Safety triangle on the back, you've got the option of having it on the tank or on the frame. And then you've got your colours as well. Colours are the same as they were on the toolbar as well. Your frame. Um, can't change the colour of the tank, but you can, of course, change the colour of the rims as well. Um, and if you really want to, you can put a licence plate on the back as well. But uh, very nice little tank that, and sensibly priced as well, £19,500, euros, dollars, whatever you're playing the game in. Let's go and have a look at the 2,000 gallon tank now. And there it is, the WG2000, 7,570 litres there. Um, and a price of 22500 so again, not ridiculously expensive either. But you've got some wheel options on here, which is nice. Uh, so the BKTs, you've got one, two, three, look at those. Oh, and back to the originals there. And the Michelins, you've got the cargoes, got some heavy-duty cargoes, and that is that. Trelleborg, you've got twin radials, T404s, 421s, Back to the twin radials. And then Midas. You've got these rather big AC70Gs. But twins at the back. And back to the originals. And back to your BKT. So that is all your wheel options. Again, the tattle device. You can see it appearing on the top there and running down the front. Safety triangle, tank or frame as you were last time. And frame, all the same colours again as we've seen throughout the pack. And finally, the GN4000, 15,140 litres it will carry. And we've got lots and lots of wheel options in here. So let's start with Continental. You've got the Continental Cross Tracks. Move on to the Michelin Cargos. Move on to the Midas AC70s. And you've got the Camso Tracks as well. And back to Continentals. So very nice. You've got the Tattle device as well which is great. And again, your frame options for colours that you've seen all the way through the pack and the same with the rims. Really, really like this tank setup. Very nice indeed. And definitely see me using this one a lot in a lot of my fields. So, very, very nice. 31500 as well, price-wise for this. So, not offensively expensive, this stuff. And I just realised I didn't show you the prices for the toolbars as well. So, the 37 foot toolbar 54,500 and the 60 foot toolbar 84,500 so you know I've seen a lot more expensive equipment than that anyway we are back here let's jump in first of all I think what we'll do in the first one we'll jump in the fence here and we'll have a look at the one with the side dresser on because I want to show you what happens to the ground when you apply that so let's jump in I do have one of Fusion's anhydrous fill tanks that you can get with his pack over here as well. So we will fill this tank up, because at the moment it is empty. And then we will jump into this field straight ahead of us, and we will get some work done. So there we go, we are filling up. As you can see as well, we have uh, got nitrogen anhydrous ammonia being picked up in precision firing. That is because of Fusion's anhydrous ammonia add-on. And also, you can see that we've scanned the field at the bottom there, so our nitrogen levels at the moment are looking pretty poor. So, we hit 100% there, we are done. Let's just roll into the field here. I don't need to be too exotic with this, because we're just going to demo it. Uh, but let's unfold it. He has actually put, or Colin's Custom have put new um, dust effects as well in here, so we've got a nice nitrogen dust effect, uh, particle effect if you want. Uh, when this goes in. We'll lower this down. Select the right tool. Lower it down. There we go. And we shall power it up as well. And you can see that dust kicking up there as well. Now, because we're on the side dresser, if I pull away here, you can see there's that particle effect. So because uh, the anhydrous is injected into the ground, there's a slight uh, delay actually before it starts to seep up through the surface and they've mirrored that actually 
uh, in the particle effect or the dust effect, which is great. And now you'll see it's slightly darker, but what we're not doing is we're not cultivating the land, so we are in directly injecting this into the ground, but it's not having an impact on the, on the soil, if you know what I mean. So let's go back here and have a look. Let's stand over here. Nitrogen, 45 grams per kilogram hectare. We walk up behind where we've just applied as well. You can see that's increased to 180. And you also saw as well, while we were in the cab, precision farming in the minimap down in the bottom corner, that we were a very nice shade of green there compared to the orange that was there before. So, um, doing a great job. This is fantastic. Okay, that is your smaller 37 foot wide applicator toolbar with the side dresser on, no cultivator. Now let's jump back, let's jump in the 9RT and bring the cultivator version along as well and you can have a look at that. Right, in the John Deere this time, as you can see, 15,000 litres in the tank. We've already filled this one so we don't need to refill it. And what we'll do is we'll jump in, we'll go to the other side of the field here. Let's give the fence a bit of space. And we'll get this unfolded. And we'll run this bad boy as well. There we go. Nice unfold animations as well. Not too uh, uniform, as you would expect. So those drop down and the lovely unfold. There are those outer wings. Nice. Okay, we are good to go here. Let's fire this up. Our tank behind us there. Let's drop this down. And straight away, you will notice that we have a cultivator field effect there. So that is your difference between the two. If you want the side dresser, you can just go with that. Or alternatively, you can throw in and cultivate the field at the same time. And as you can see, we've got our green in our mini-map. You can see in our precision farming, it's telling us the anhydrous harmonia is being applied. And all is looking very good. So, there you go. Um, it's really nice when a modder revisits a mod. I mean, he did a great job the first time, and it was the first toolbar to come out for anhydrous, which was great. Uh, but he's been quietly working away, working with other modders, uh, improving this, tweaking this, making this better. So um, hats off to uh, Colin's Custom for doing such a great job with this. It is already available. Uh, I'll put a link to his itch in the description below. So go grab it, uh, drop him a note, say thank you, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. But yes, great to see an evolution of what was already a very, very good pack. So for now, from me, the Farm Sim Guy, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.